All right then my friends, so the next thing I'd like to show you is how to create a pop-up or in Viewtify as they're known, a dialog. So what I'd like to do is create some kind of button under here which says new project, add a new project. And when we click on that, it throws up a little pop-up in the middle of the screen and eventually that's gonna have a form on that we can add a new project with. So to create this pop-up, I think what I'd like to do is create a new component. We could directly create it in the nav bar, but I don't want to do that. I want to create a new component just so we've got a bit of separation of concerns. And then what we'll do is we'll nest it inside the nav bar because that's where the button is going to go to open this pop-up. So first of all, let's create a new file and call this popup.view. And then inside here, we need a template. And then just in case we need some data later on, let's use a script tag and that will do for now. Okay then, so like I said, Viewtify calls these things dialogues. And the way we create one is by using a component called v dialog, like so. Now then, we can pass a prop to this, which is gonna be max-width, and we're gonna set that equal to 600 pixels. Okay, so this sets the maximum width of the pop-up when it appears on the screen. You can set this to whatever you like. I think 600 is a good value. Okay then, so this thing kind of works the same way as a couple of other things we've seen in the past. We have a button, which is gonna be an activator. So we'll use an activator slot for that. And also we're gonna have a card underneath that. And that card is actually gonna be the thing that pops up on the screen. So then, first of all, the button, V hyphen button. And this is gonna be a flat button. And by the way, this is the button that is eventually gonna be nested down here. Okay, we'll see that round about here. So this button right here, I want to give a slot value of activator. And then also I'm going to give this a class of success. So it has that background color of that success green. All right. So we want this to say add new project. Now then underneath the button, we need the card. So let's say V hyphen card. And remember, this is the thing that's actually going to pop up on the screen. And inside that, we'll do a title, first of all. So V hyphen card hyphen title. And inside here, we'll do an H2, which says add a new project. And then ultimately what we'll do is have some content down here, right? I'm not gonna type that in, but this is where our form will eventually go. But for now, I don't think we need to do that. We'll address forms in maybe the next lecture, but we'll save that now. And if we view this, obviously, Nothing is going to appear on the screen. There's no button here, but that's because this component has been made, but it's not been nested anywhere else. So then let's import it into the nav bar. I'm going to do that down here. I'll say import pop up from, and it's in the same directory, then pop up dot view. Okay, so we don't need the dot view, by the way. We can just say pop up. So then now we need to register this down here. We'll say components, and we want the pop up like so. And then we can use that up here in the template. Now, I'd like this to go underneath the avatar, which is right here. And remember, we're using a V layout here with a column prop, which means we're spreading these elements out vertically. And this first element, the avatar, is in a VFlex component. Now, we're gonna do another VFlex component, like so. And we're gonna place the button, or rather the pop-up, inside this. So let's say now pop up like so. So if we save this and view it in a browser and open this up, we see that right there. Now, what I'd like to do before we test this is just give this a class over here, this VFlex item, just to give it a bit more breathing room. And that class is gonna be MT-4 to give it a margin top and MB-3 to give it a margin bottom as well. So save that and now it's got a bit more space. Okay, so if we click this now, now we see this pop-up. Not much content in there at the minute, but it's there. All right, so you click away from the pop-up to close it, and you can keep on opening it. Hours of fun. All right, so there we go, my friends. That is how we add a pop-up, or rather a dialog, as Viewtify would call them, in Viewtify. In the next video, what we'll do is address the content inside this and start to flesh out our form.